Hi, hello, and howdy. Yeah, I know, different. I'm trying something different, okay? <laughs> so sue me. Um, ah, trying to get in the center of this too. I feel like a, mm. hold on. Okay, there we go. Let's try that again. Hello, how are you? My name is Jennifer Miller. Welcome back to my channel. I am also known as Emma Swinters here on YouTube. I am a mother, an author, and a makeup lover. I am a mother co-parenting. I am today doing something that I find exciting. It takes me, I do about four times a year. Um, it takes me a while to collect, if you will. But, um, but I think the reason is because I do a mixture of both high-end and low-end. But as you saw by the title, this is a full face, nearly, <laughs> of products that are new to me. Things that I have never used before. So, in here is my goodies. And everything is, I believe, still unwrapped except for one or two items. And I'll, I'll go into the why um, when I get there. <laughs> so, we're just going to get started because it is going to be a lengthy video. And I don't want it to be too long. But we're going to start with my um, primer. This is the Wet n Wild... Water drop primer. Yep, yep, there's more and it's in another language. <laughs> Water drop primer. And in coconut. And I was like, <coughs> oh, I love the smell of coconuts. Have, oh, oh yeah. And I am assuming this is a moisturizing primer. Um, it's got, if you haven't tried this yet, it is. It's been on the market for a little over a year. It's got a kind of a, a cross between a, oh, hard to describe. It's, it's this tad liquidy. It is, um, I'll show you what it looks like. I'm trying to describe a uh, lotiony. I got some oopsies. <clears throat> I think I still have some on my arm. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, from a previous video. Sorry about that. That's what it looks like. That was from a previous video that I forgot to take off. Um, that is what it looks like. Eh, I mean, this is wet and wild, guys. It's sold at stores. It's about $5. Can you, you know, if it works, here's the thing. My thing about the lower end companies doing it as well as the higher end companies, if when that actually happens, it's like, so what have you been doing? <clears throat> Why are you charging all this money for something that you should only be charging this much for? You know what I'm saying? So crazy, crazy, crazy. But let's see, there it is. I'm not going to do my foundation yet. As I always do, I'm going to do my makeup in the order I always do it. I am going to, however, pull out my concealer because this is what I'm going to prime my eyes with. I do not have an eye primer except, not even a new one, but I do have, it's more of a keep it in place primer than a cover the veins type of primer. You know what I'm saying? But this is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And looks like this, it's in a glass bottle. That is pretty dang impressive cover. Color pop. I was gonna say cover girl, I think. I don't think I have anything from cover girl this time. I just, when I collect this stuff, I, you know, my only stipulation is have I used it before? Oh, and um, in case you haven't noticed, I use, and you will in a minute, um, right now it's all been um, drugstore bread, but here in a bit, you will see some high end too, in just a bit. Now, I didn't, I didn't, I have one, and okay, so long story short, this really irritates me, but it doesn't surprise me, this is this is the world we live in, and it's, you know, this is just what it is. But I found, I didn't think I bought a, a, 
eyebrow pencil, but when I, I found one and then I was like, I remember buying this for this. Yes. And then I looked inside to find it and it wasn't there. I know I never used it. I know what I used as far as eyebrow pencils. I can name them on one hand. That's how many I've had. Um, yeah. Uh, probably should have checked that a little thoroughly, more thoroughly when I was there, but that irritates me because it wasn't a super expensive. It was an elf one, but I used the, the elf one in the white packaging I guess if you will but this one was in black and it and I've heard some good things about it so I was gonna try it <sighs> just makes me angry people really hyper pencil come on uh. so <clears throat> moving on I am excited about this I have tried a lot of this brand but not not the eyeshadow not her eyeshadow. It's um, Mally Cosmetics. And this is the Mally and RuPaul Rupalette um, eyeshadow palette. And I thought that's cute because I love RuPaul. She is like amazing. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I'm going to show you what the packaging or the actual package looks like. Uh, you know what I'm saying. <coughs> palette looks like. Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm tossing my trash underneath the sink. Not a great place for it, but at least it's not on the floor. <laughs> but isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. It's just white and just, ooh, it's probably going to get great. Kind of brown later, but. <laughs> neutrals, that's what she goes with. But, you know, neutrals with, I say a pop of color, but it's more neutrals than color. But, you know, I do, you know, you get a nice mirror and I, whoopsies. I do like that she, you know, it's got some glimmers in there. Glimmers. Glitters. <laughs> and I believe, is there, <coughs> yeah, there's a couple shimmers. There's three shimmers. There's one, two, three, four, five um, glitters, it looks like. That might be a shimmer as well. So four and four, it looks like. And then the rest are all mattes and I do not know <coughs> what I'm going to do. I wasn't thinking about it. I was just like dive in and just, you know, do this. But I think, I think I'm going to go a little wild here. And I think I'm going to take this beautiful color called Mother, M-U-T-H-A, Mother. And I'm going to put that in my crease. Yeah, I know, right? But I mean, little, little. Yes, I'm going out somewhere, believe it or not. It's not to work. And because I do work in this crazy, crazy world. But um in of all places we're going to a Walmart, but not my Walmart. I do not like going to my work when I'm off. Because I have an extreme guilty conscience and I'll see how people have been, how my co-workers have been struggling and I'll feel bad. So, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> okay. Um, pigmented, yes. Not as pigmented as some, but it is pigmented. And, but I should say not and. Or yeah, and I guess it does blend. You can probably blend it to a nice soft. I'm certain you can build this up. I'm using a fluffy brush. So this is my BH Cosmetics. One of my BH Cosmetics fluffy brushes. I have a bigger one, but this is the one I wanted. <coughs> so we're just going to go right back over there on the other side. Sorry, I was quiet there for a minute. <laughs> I will probably put some music in the background on this video. Provided I remember. And it's going to be long, so maybe I won't. <clears throat> nope. Considering where it's at, I probably won't. But we'll, we shall see. We shall see. Okay. 
So, now I think I'm going to go in with this pretty peachy color called Everybody Say Love. Right there. I think I'm going to take that all over the lid. This is not supposed to be in that one, but we're going to, I want to use it. This is probably at the point, if this was on my laptop in Photoshop, that I would speed this up, but I cannot do that on my phone. So I do not. Those actually blended really seamlessly together. Really, really nice. <clears throat> I have tried Mally's um, just almost everything in her eye category. I have several of her eye shadow sticks. Real quick. I'm gonna go in, I think, first with Capricorn. <laughs> Must be what she is. Capricorn, right there. Um, and then I'm gonna go probably in with Scorpio. Interesting. That must be what one is and the other is. Scorpio, right there. <clears throat> I have tried Mally's, um, many of Mally's things I've got. I think I've tried every single one of her. No, there is a new one. She has a new eye or mascara out that I have not tried. But I've tried three out of four, four out of five. <laughs> I like all of them. They're not my absolute top five, but they're definitely in my top ten. So, <clears throat> and totally would repurchase. Totally repurchase. Now, right now, as far as this palette stands, I probably would repurchase. It does have a tiny bit of fallout. As you can see right there, it's to be expected. I mean, when it's nice, when it doesn't, but and yeah, I like doing the crease. I probably do this every look, but I just think dimension it adds is really, really pretty. But these shadows are blending nicely. Definitely like that. This isn't as pigmented as I thought it would be, though. I am going to finish off camera because this is getting long. I'll be back. Okay. I went ahead and then went in. Sorry, I already got that out, but I forgot I needed to show you what I did. I went in. Oh, we haven't even cleaned up the fallout, guys. <laughs> Give me just a second. I'm going to take care of that. With this color called Sissy That Walk. This one right here, this glimmery shade right here, red glimmery shade, and I put that on the center of my eyelids. And then I took this one, this one called Born Naked, right here. Yeah, you see me in my camera. <laughs> and I put that on the inner corner. Okay, so yeah, like I forgot to do, I'm going to go off camera and real quick and I'm going to clean up the fallout and then I'm going to go in with my new eyeliner. <clears throat> You'll see that in just a second. Actually, I lied to you. My bad. I told you I was going to do this the exact order I do this and normally what I do next. <coughs> so I put on my foundation. <coughs> so we're going to go in with this concealer. I'm going to use my trusty dusty. <laughs> Probably is dusty. Um, sponge, if I can locate it. Oh, goodness. But yeah, I'm gonna use that ColourPop concealer. One second. Hey, found it. So. I 
I think it's definitely light enough. I probably got that little shade too light. <laughs> Woo! I wish I could tell you what the color is. What is the color? Bear. 05 or something like that. I mean, I am white and this is pretty much the color of my skin, but still it looks a little bit too, too white on me. I have a slight, slight coloring. Not bad, not bad color pop. I'm liking that so far. <clears throat> okay, for foundation, I got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, in the new Dewey one. And uh, I saw Teresa and underscore 83 do a um, reviewing demo and she really liked this. So I said, okay. Let's see what you've got. Okay. Definitely a different scent, and I like that. This before it smelled like maybe mine was just old, but no, I bought a new one for this um for a video last year. So no, but I definitely like the smell better. Yeah, definitely like the smell better. As long as we didn't get that on the white and white and black stretch in the white part <laughs> blouse. Because I probably will wear this out and then I'll probably wear this again tomorrow. Just because I don't have a lot of shirts. Oh, I did, I did. Oh, crud. Well, not wearing this tomorrow, am I? It comes out fast. Maybe yours won't, but mine did. <laughs> maybe you'll be smarter than I will and not do that. Or maybe you will be smarter than I will and not already know not to do that. But mine came out fast. <clears throat> okay. So. This beauty sponge is only slightly down. It's the elf one, and I have had it for a while, and I really like it. I'm not going to say it's, you know, worth it, wait, or, you know, worth. I wouldn't pay no $10, $15 for it, but it was $4. Come on, you cannot find them less than $4. And actually, I think it's doing a bang up job. I have not had any complaints, or, yeah. That's right. I have no complaints. I have never had a bad moment with this, so maybe I just don't know the difference, but I do know it does pick up a little bit too much product. You have to be careful. I would wring it out real good. This one I used just yesterday, so it's still slightly damp, and it's actually perfect. Maybe tag more. And it needs cleaned. Mm. Just saying. Okay. I did not also get a powder. Um, also, I did not get a powder. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> so I'm going to use my um, Cody Airspun. This will be a good test because to see how well the two, the concealer and the powder work together. Gotta remember to do my right eye first because my left eye is not as bad as my right eye. But my right eye is just, ugh. It's got cousins in the bags. They're holding their cousins' bags too. <laughs> I'm such a dork. I don't even know what I'm saying, but you know what I'm saying? I got extra baggage over here versus over here, so. Okay. <clears throat> Now I can go in with the rest of my eyes. 
I got this concealer from, sorry, looking in my bag, Let's see what else I have. Um, Essence. I have not used an Essence uh, concealer. Eyeliner. Uh, liquid eyeliner. It's a felt type, felt tip type one. And if I like this, I might repurchase it in the future in quantity. Like get a backup or two because I, I ain't gonna lie. I have two or three or four that are over two years old. But we do, well, I say we, my daughter and I, we use eyeliner. And when she was here, we totally used it. I'm sorry, I, got, I know I got a little bit more on this side than on this side, but it's probably not going to be able to take care of that. I It probably wouldn't work to do a winged eyeliner, but I like it for every day. Definitely good for every day. Okay, so I'm also going to go off camera and do my eyeliner because, um, Lord Lang, Lord Lash Lang, because I do not have a new one. I actually did, but I used it. I didn't think about it when I used it. I used it. I was like, oh, because like a couple days ago I was thinking about this and I was like, do I have an eyeliner? And I was thinking about it and I was like, Supposed to use, yeah. One of those moments, so not a big deal. Not a big deal. So I'm gonna go off camera, take care of that, and I'll be back. Okay. My, I uh, went ahead and did my eyebrows as well. Um, sorry. Okay, went off camera and did, did, took that same brown. Capricorn shade and line my under eyes with it. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> oh, so sorry. Now, for mascara, I have the Benefit Bad Gal Bank. A um, little funny story about this one. This is about a little over a year old, probably, probably going on two. And, um, Sorry if you hear my son, he's, you know what, whatever. He's just having fun in his game and he keeps telling his brother about it, which his brother could care less, but. So, you know, it's all good, but they're being good. I gotta give them that much. <clears throat> but no, funny story about this. Um, when it came out, Nikki Tutorials, I guess, was benefit said come out to our little thing and I don't know what she was thinking it was something totally different and I guess by the title or something I can't remember what she thought it was but it turns out she said it was just mascara <laughs> I was like oh that is kind of a letdown I guess so <clears throat> the one looks like that kind of small not really oops sorry not real hello not really flat bristles fat bristles kind of sparse but you know what it doesn't mean everything <clears throat> bristles do not mean everything as a matter of fact one of my favorite mascaras that i actually love is actually more of a primer from what i am reading about it oh my gosh that is actually really good look at that that is like the first swipe well, okay third or fourth but still these lashes are way sparser and we got a little, just a little, that's all right. But yeah, and I thought that was just a cute story. It's a video of hers, you're welcome to go see it. I'm not gonna link it. I won't remember, <laughs> I guarantee you, I will not. I could write it down then I might, but it's not that important. I'm sure millions of people saw the video already, so. But yeah, I thought that was cute. This is actually really good. 
interestingly about this mascara, I, ju I just noticed, so I thought I'd make mention of it. It doesn't have, and I, it is a note, and it sounds like I'm being negative, but I'm not. It doesn't have as good as a stopper as most of them do. It's got more of a smooth inside and out versus the others, they go This one's, just, you know, just kind of more smooth. It does, you can feel it. You can even hear it, but it's not as pronounced as most mascaras. And I know one thing I like about Mally's, the one that I used, that I have been using, and I'm gonna use up until it's gone. Now after opening this, this is probably gonna be the next one <clears throat> I use because I want to start using ones that I have opened. And since I'm opening this one, I don't want to let it go bad. Little spoil alert there for my shop my stashes. Probably not till like June, but But yeah, ooh, ooh, okay. Yeah, well, let that dry. Oh so, yeah, I really, you know, my favorite mascara, one of my favorites, my top six, seven, is um, Benefits They're Real. So I am not surprised I like this, but really, you know, when you, you compare it to the original, you're like, come on, can it really be that good? Yeah, it can really be that good. Oh, I was talking to you about my other favorite mascara. It's actually more of a primer it's from It Cosmetics. It's their Tight Light Mascara. And it's a super thin, super non-bristly brush. But let me tell you, when I used it for the first time, I was like impressed. Yeah, this definitely builds up. And that's one of the things I like too. Does it build up? Can I put another coat on? Sorry, my kids are talking in the back and I'll let them be, let them be. I shouldn't have to be quiet. I am sorry for the times that I have made them. They're pretty good though. When I'm in here doing this, you can usually hear them. <coughs> but I will say some of the times when I'm, <coughs> excuse me, Excuse me, when I'm in the um, my bedroom filming, you can't hear him. Okay, now that we're almost 30 minutes in. Oh, my eyes are watering. Okay, let's finish this up. Now, to finish it up, I have, pulling that one out, I have, I'm going to do bronzer, and in this, this is from the Too Faced set, I have not used this, I have not used their bronzer either, this is their, I have used their peach palette, I have their peach palette, and I use that bronzer, but this is the Chocolate Soleil bronzer, and I've never used this, so this is actually a first impression. It also is the highlighter. I did use the highlighter to the peach faced, peach two faced, but I have never used um, like a different highlighter from it. So I figured, you know, we'll do it. Now I'm going to use my <coughs> fake brush. This is from, um, this is actually Josie Moran brush, <coughs> which I'm not going to use. Ah! Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. And we're going to leave that for a minute. So sorry if it bothers you. This is from an old set, online, uh, Amazon, like 10 bucks for full set. I was like, ah, ding, huh. order. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's got that chocolatey set. Now I will say, ooh, that is, that is, that is chocolatey. It does sheer out good. It does blend good. That is dark. <laughs> Might be a little too dark for me. Man, you don't... Sorry. It does have some kick up. You wouldn't see, think it by... Wow. 
Jeez. But <clears throat> let's go a little lighter hand this time. Whoosh. I know. Not supposed to do that. No one uses my brushes or anything but me. And I have no open sores on my face. So what I talk like this. Oh yeah, that's definitely better. <laughs> Light hand. Light hand. Point taken. <clears throat> For my blush shirt. Hopefully this stays in one video because we're past that threshold. I think that's what happened to my last one because it just stopped and started. It, I didn't press nothing. It just stopped and started. So I'm hoping that this continues into one video. If not, I am so sorry. I will never make that mistake again. And I will use my son's camera. Um, this is a L'Oreal True Match um, Super Blendable Blush. So... I have never used a L'Oreal blush. I've used a lot of L'Oreal stuff, like I said, mascara. I think I have a liquid eyeliner by the end. And I used, I've used their foundation and their, um, their um, eyeliner, no, foundation and their concealer, but I have never used a blusher. One second. And I am positive, so this might mess it up. That was useless. <laughs> Sorry about my tongue sticking out like that, but that was useless because no sooner than I took it off camera that, and paused it that I got it like immediately afterwards. <clears throat> now I'm using my, <coughs> excuse me, my Josie Moran brush. And this is one of my favorite brushes for, for a um, blusher. Ooh, that is so pretty. I am beginning to love blushes. I've not been a blush person. I have said that in multiple videos. I've not been a blush person, but I am getting into them and I am loving them. We're going to do the tappy tappy because I'm certain many people, well, a few people are cringing. So <laughs> I don't want to offend them. So am I going to do it off camera? Maybe. Let's just assume I won't. <laughs> Okay, looking good. Definitely a keeper. Oh yeah, I knew I would. <clears throat> Blush is one of those things that's hard to screw up, but not entirely. <laughs> okay, let's get that off. I'm gonna have to touch that up with some makeup. Yep. I'm going to have to touch that up with some makeup. <coughs> is what it is. Hold it. Okay. <coughs> Almost done. For a highlighter, like I said, that Too Faced. And this is in the color Snowflake, I believe. Nope, Angel's Wings. So I do not know how well this will work, but uh, hair, hair. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not the most blinding highlight but it definitely is nice i mean top 10 no top 20 and out of like probably a hundred that's not bad it means it's ahead of it about 80 other highlights <coughs> including the one that i'm using in my project pan So, I mean, and I don't like, I am getting there to where I'm okay with it and starting to like it, but I'm not one for a blinding highlight. I like <coughs> a little more mattifying because I'm naturally oily, so I don't need it. 
40 minutes. My apologies. Okay, last but not least, lips. <coughs> now, like I said, I do not have a new lipstick, but I do have new lip liner. So, if it doesn't take me, you know what, we're going to go off camera and go with this up. usually takes me 20 minutes. You know. Okay, this is a L'Oreal lip liner. This is probably my, this is my first time ever using a L'Oreal lip liner, but I have seen these for so long. I've always wanted one. <coughs> I've always thought they were just so sleek looking, looking and cute. And I just always wanted one. Don't ask why. I just have. So we're going to go in and line. The lips. I'm going to do a little I do not know the color. I just know I like it. <laughs> Goes on real smooth, real soft, not overly. <clears throat> I believe from what she says on her videos, this is one that even Tati would be um, pleased with. I think I like the look. I wasn't really fond of it until I added lashes, but I think I like the look, the overall look. <clears throat> gonna go in I would like to find a softer oh yeah definitely my um essence <clears throat> for my shop my stash oh my lord <laughs> they are loud <laughs> sorry about that All right, and there's the finished look. So quick, quick, quick review because we are heading to that 40 mark. Yeah, this is what I do. <laughs> okay, starting with the primer. Primer. I really don't know. I'm not going to say I hate it. I definitely not. don't hate it. Um, <clears throat> it smells good. Sink, it works okay. I don't know about staying in and making my makeup apply better. I don't know. It did apply really good. So, um, definitely like this. A lot better than I like the original. A lot better than I like the original. So many ways. Definitely like this. <clears throat> I will probably be repurchasing. Probably both. Um, concealer. Yes. Yes. Uh, when I go back to getting some more ColourPop, I'll probably order another one just because I like it that well. It did really good for eyes and for under eyes. I think it did real good. <coughs> and from what I can tell, I'm grabbing the mirror off the palette, it did good on the under eyes. So, and it works well with the powder is what I'm guessing I'm trying to say. Um, no eyebrows, eyeshadow. Bad. The mattes performed really good. They blended really well and not as pigmented as I had hoped, but it's still good. Not great, but good. This shimmer that I used, I couldn't get much payoff with um, a brush. I'm going to work with that. Maybe different setting spray or whatever, you know, different spray. Might try that. But overall, decent. Um, mascara. <laughs> Thank you, Benefit. Another one. Woohoo! <laughs> um, eyeliner. Yes, definitely. Definitely a keeper. Um, use my own eyeliner. Um, the the con or contour bronzer, whatever you want to will. I like it. I like it. It's 
yeah, I would say it's going to be a keeper. It's going to be one that I'm going to repurchase. So I like it. It blended real good. It looks really natural. I like it. The highlighter, not the most brightest, but it's good. It's good. If I don't think I can even find it since it was in a special set. Um, so it's not even worth saying if I would repurchase. And blusher, definitely. Yes, yes. Look at that. That is really pretty. Really pretty. Lip liner, A+. Plus. I mean, it all meet all my expectations. Sorry, that was me. Operator air, not them. So, yeah, that does it for this video. Um, I'm going to end it there. It is going on 41 minutes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope hope you will stick around for other videos. I do a full face about, it's pretty much going on once every eight weeks. So probably in another eight to nine weeks, we'll just say seven to nine weeks, I will be doing another. Um, <clears throat> I will flip as I used, these are obviously drugstore. Next time I will use higher end for this, but where this is not drugstore, <laughs> I will use a drugstore. So you get the point. Anyway, um, yeah. Don't forget to ring that bell. Click the notification bell. Yeah, yeah, you just said that, Jennifer. Um, <laughs> subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Love you so much. I will see you in my next video because this is long. Bye.